So what I want you to do is I want you to taste it. See that? Mm-hmm. That won't hurt you. You can swallow that. But anyway, that's common yarrow. Okay. All right. Welcome back to Mountain Men Outdoors. So today I'm out here in the mountains and I've uh, been really wanting to study up on some plants some that's got medicinal purposes to them, um, wild edibles, and just all kinds of different herbs. And so today with me is Mike Reed with Mike Reed Outdoors. Hey, you all. Mike is, uh, is in my opinion, the go-to guy on wild plants and edibles. He just a wealth of knowledge and... Uh, I greatly appreciate him spending the time with me today and uh, sharing some of that knowledge with me. So, And if you hadn't already, go check out his channel. He's got a great channel. Like I said, a wealth of knowledge and information on his channel. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. See you. And it makes really good cordage. It's it's poison. So you wouldn't you wouldn't want to consume this plant right here unless uh, the Indians did use this plant, but the, they the the doctors that prescribed it the the Indian doctors were really uh, experienced at at uh, giving the doses. That if you just took a dose of it, it would probably just make you deathly ill. Yeah. But the cordage off of this plant is excellent. And that's dog bane. Green briar, any of your green briar plants are edible. I'm just like a deer munching on stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Want to eat it? Just pick up. But just like the tips are flexible where they're growing. You eat the leaf too? Yeah. Don't cooperate, camera. That's milk thistle, Josh. It just ain't, the bloom just ain't popped out on it yet. It's actually got a pretty bloom when it does bloom yeah, it out. Does. But you take you take the root of that plant, but this is all edible. But now I've never tried to eat this because it's sticky the whole the whole way, the whole nine yards. Yeah. So you take the root of it and you cut it up and use it to <coughs> help cleanse your liver. That's what it does. It's just a liver cleanser. There's this milk thistle. This one's bloomed out. All right, guys, we got some St. John's wort here. And uh, Mike's told me some interesting stuff about it that I, I had no idea. It was named after St. John the Divine. They thought this particular uh, plant right here was used back in his day for different purposes, which it is the same today. But you can see right here, if you break that flower, it looks like blood. Okay, so... That that's one of the other reasons this, that they thought it was you know Saint John's. Uh, that's where it come from. But anyway, it's used guys ma majorly for anxiety and uh, the problems that the ladies have once a month. That's what it's used for. As you can take the leaves off of it and 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 the flowers and make an oil out of it that that is actually a pain reliever as well. It's hard to remember all that stuff, but you can make a pain reliever right out of that plant right there just by getting the oil and, ma and making that oil from the flowers and the leaves that's and just right. rubbing and rubbing that right on wherever you got pain. That's a that's actually a pain relieving medicine. Zoom in there on your heel all. Now, the, the Indians give this the name heel all because they used it for just all different purposes. 
and whether it actually heals all things, I ain't got no clue. <laughs> but you'd have to try it on just about everything, everything you had to, to use it. But it's really, it's, it's in the mint family, mm -hmm. and almost anything that's in the mint family is good for you. So you can make teas and stuff and poultices out of heel all and use it for, for that particular purpose. It kind of resembles red clover a lot, just at a distance. It does, it? but if you look at your leaves, the hill all up here in the mountains is is bigger and and uh, way more. Well, it's just a prettier plant because it just grows. It just grows better. I'm gonna grab up a timber rattle about it here. <laughs> <laughs> Had to ruin your day, wouldn't it? Yeah, I was like, ah, watch that. Hill all. That right there is called Hoary Mountain Mint. Hoary Mountain Mint. Bust that open. Oh yeah, you can. You can so yeah, that's it. Mountain Mint. All that stuff. Any, any, any of these mints. That smells real good. Any of these mints. If you're going to make a pain medication, let's say you're going to make the, the St. John Wart's mm -hmm. pain medication, and you want it for a rub on. You're going, you're going to want to add any of this any of these mint plants to that you're putting menthol is in every rub on that you buy has got menthol in it mm -hmm. menthol pulls the blood to that area okay it, it cools it but it also pulls the blood to that area and and that's the reason when you pick up any of this stuff you buy off the shelf you'll see one of the main ingredients is menthol, menthol. it comes right out of these plants right here any of your mint plants you you, you want to use in your pain relieving gels, creams, saves, whatever you're making. All right, guys, this right here is called, well, Josh, this is called yellow dock. Okay. Yellow dock is one of the plants that you want to use when somebody is iron deficient. You can use the, you can use these seeds, is, which is what I, what is, is what I usually use, but I'm not iron deficient, but we know that, that, women are because they have periods and they're just iron deficient most of them are yeah so you take this the, the cherokees use this plant right here along with vitamin c you have to take your iron with vitamin c or you don't absorb it right okay so any anything out here like white pine or anything that's got vitamin c in it you want to mix it with this plant and make tea out of it and this will this will make this is a blood building, iron building, blood builder. That, that's that's an iron, an iron building plant. And how you know that you've got way too much of it once you've took a, two or three doses of it, if if you take too much of it, you'll get a headache. Okay. That's how you know you've taken enough, because it'll start you your blood builds up, and the, the pressure and stuff builds up. I, you know, I've seen this all my this life. This is all over. This is all over your place. I've seen this all my life, and I never know. But I, I remember as a kid, I, that's the first thing I do is rake off the seat. <laughs> that's yellow <dock. laughs> This is called mountain goldenrod right here. You'll see the other ones growing along the side of the road, and you'll see them in gigantic patches. I know you've seen it. Mm -hmm. They're big old tall things. Uh, they're 48 inches high, most of them, and they're they're slender. Goldenrod will clean your urinary tract out and wash and, and wash out the stones that you got. Mm -hmm. That's what goldenrod does. Goldenrod will flush you out like a, a racehorse taking a leak. <laughs> <laughs> if I can say it that way. Yeah. That's what goldenrod does. That that's really and I've took the stuff before, not because just, just to see how it works, you know. Yeah. And yeah, you will go to the potty <laughs> time after time after time. But that's what this is mountain goldenrod, and that's what it's for. All right, let me zoom in on this. Mountain goldenrod. Mountain goldenrod. Evening primrose. And you can buy it right off the shelf at Walmart. The peels. I did not know that. Yes, sir. That's evening primrose. And that's for hot flashes. That's hot flashes and other things that the, I always keep saying this. But that's the, for what the girls do. <laughs> you can eat that flower right there, Josh. I don't have, I'm not having a hot flash or nothing. <laughs> <laughs>
You can eat that flour. It won't hurt you. I'm going to try one. I'm not having a hot flash either, but I'm going to try this. Evening, evening primrose. It's got a real sweet smell or sweet taste. Mm -hmm. Similar to honeysuckle. Yep. All right, guys, here's some wild lettuce. This, this particular one right here is the smooth wild lettuce. Okay. And I hope we can find some prickly up here on the mountain. I'm sure we will somewhere, but that's the smooth variety right there. You can, this, this particular kind doesn't have as much of the lacticarium in it as the, the prickly wild lettuce does. Yeah. Now, it's still, that's kind of what confused me, is it's still got a little bit of, of a prickly edge, it looks like. You it know. does, but the, and it, but the main thing, it's, well. The, the it's back side smooth. of the leaf will yeah. be really prickly on the on prickly wild lettuce. And that, I usually don't use this kind right here to make a uh, painkiller out of because it, it takes way more of this particular kind right here than, than the, the prickly. Now, in some of your other videos, Mike, I've seen you talking about um, garden lettuce if you let it grow to maturity. Oh, yeah. Now, does it take as much of it to do? like it does the wild lettuce actually garden lettuce is super super strong if you let that stuff go to seed. is it i know you've seen molted molded molted wild uh, garden lettuce mm -hmm. it's just come up there and nobody ate it right get it all the way the root and everything okay and that right there will be as strong as any wild lettuce that you now that's something uh that's something i'm really going to work on is uh the wild lettuce okay. i'm real excited to uh try some of my wild lettuce for pain reliever and uh, of course it's it does a lot more than just that but I, it's interesting to me I, I want something for a headache you know when i'm out got a headache or even when i've got a headache at home i'd rather i'd rather use something natural than i would even take a, me a bunch of medicine and guys i'll put you a link mike's got some great videos on wild lettuce and using it and finding it and uh I'll put us a link in the description. I'll also show the video uh, right now in the top right-hand corner so you can go check out some of his videos. Wow, check this. This is what I call blue lettuce. Okay. But when you break it, you won't see as much of the of the chemical in it. I'll guarantee you, you never, you never will. The one that I, the one that I, uh, got it to house. I, I took my knife like on one of your videos and I cut and that thing just immediately started did, gushing. Did it gush it? Mm-hmm. Prostate medicine that you get, you're going to see that it's got nettle in it. Okay. So that it's actually that thing that stings you. Mm -hmm. That chemical that stings you is what helps shrink your prostate. Okay. That's very interesting. Yeah, that's what it is. I know. It's got a real distinct smell too. When you come through Chilhowie certain times of year. Mm-hmm. You can really smell it from the river down there. You take that stuff, Josh, and if, if you want to eat it out here in the woods, mm -hmm. all you got to do is just, just cut you some of it up and don't get stung with it. Put it in your little kettle, and after you've boiled it till it's like greens, mm -hmm. you can eat it because you did, you've killed the stingers. The stingers will just go away. Man, look at that, Josh. That right there is one of the biggest Solomon seal plants I've ever seen. That is. You know what Solomon seal is? I I just I've heard them talk about it and okay. I recognize it from the bottom of it. Okay. But so, I don't know what it's used for. Okay, Solomon seals. It, you you can make a tincture of the roots for arthritis pain. Okay. But you can also eat the roots of Solomon seal just like potatoes. If you're in the woods and you're starving to death and you find a patch of Solomon seal. Dig up them roots and eat them because they're just full of starch. Do not consume the berries off a of Solomon seal. The berries will poison you, okay? Those will turn black. See that? But those, that right there is an awesome <laughs> Solomon that's a, seal. That's it, right it's big in it. Yeah. The natural that's stuff that we eat out here in the woods that God made won't hurt your liver. But everything else that you buy over the counter that's been synthetically created by a man it affects your liver. It will affect your liver if you eat too much of the junk or take too much of the stuff. Yeah. That's it's it. almost like God knew what he was doing now. Well, he absolutely knew what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> he absolutely knew what he was doing. He did. <laughs>
Because we'd be better off. Eat, eat the fruits out of his garden. Yeah, he told them, he said, eat the fruits. <laughs> eat the fruits out of his garden. That's what he, they, they didn't eat meat or anything else. Yeah. They only ate vegetables and stuff yep. out of the field. Guys, it's amazing. If you start researching some of this stuff, the, the things that are in your very backyard that you can use, uh, it would it would just amaze you. Yeah, stop right there and tell, show them playing tape. Bite out here in the woods, mm -hmm. spider bite, any kind of thing on your skin, whether it's uh, some type of an irritation, you've got uh, poison ivy or anything like that on your skin, make you a poultice out of this stuff right here. Find that everywhere in your yard. And guys, I mean, this is just a little one. The, the leafalness will get this big. Oh, yeah. I've seen it. Now, didn't the Indians used to call this white man's foot because everywhere the ground's disturbed? Well, now, I never read that, but they might have. But you, you can eat this stuff. It won't hurt you can eat this for food. Yeah. You can eat the seeds off of it for food. That, I mean, that right there is one valuable plant, especially for bug bites. Spider bites, if I get a bug bite, I just go out in the yard and chew some of it up. Yeah. Put it on my thumb and mash it right into that bite. Jewelweed. And you can turn you can turn it in. They make soap and everything out of this. You can add it to soaps and have mm -hmm. jewelweed soap. But you can eat jewelweed just like a deer. <laughs> we will not hurt you. But mm. you take that stuff and just crush that up wherever you got a bug bite. And Josh, I'll tell you what I did. I had a hornet sting me one day while I was weed eating out in the, out there in the backyard. Right on the end of, right on my finger right there. I immediately got some jewelweed and rubbed it into that bee sting. And I, I sat there for about 45 minutes and continued to just rub that jewelweed into that. It never got sore. Really? No, sir. That'll kill a bee sting in a heartbeat. Wide leaf burdock. Same, it's the same plant family as the yellow dock over here. Dock, mm -hmm. burdock. Mm -hmm. That's the same kind of plant. This one right here, the roots and everything are edible. But this one right here is, to clean it, this one's a liver cleanser. Liver cleanser. A liver cleanser. You take that raw root, you cut it up, and you and you take the juice and concentrate it, mm -hmm. and take it in small doses, and it, it will cleanse your liver. Any of the any of this dock, this big wide dock stuff right here cleanses your liver. That's a good one. And a lot of this stuff, too, it, it, it wouldn't hurt just periodically to take it, regardless oh, no, of no, if you no, need it or not. Not at all. Matter of fact, the, you can you can take this stuff home and cook it anytime you want to. Yeah. But remember, like garlic and stuff like that, if you cook it and get it too hot, the benefits of the garlic go away because you kill... You kill what's in it. You kill the, you, you kill the, uh, the herbal remedy, really. Okay. So, people think these are... Uh, huckleberries. Mm -hmm. These are actually will turn a little bit yellow and they're called gooseberries. Gooseberries. And these make delicious pies. That right there is a summer treat for you when they when they finally get ripe, if you can get them before the bears get them. Wow. But look for them around the patches where you're seeing the, see your huckleberries? Mm -hmm. Most of the time you'll see these right here and you'll go, man, them big old huckleberries. Well, them's actually gooseberries right there. Pretty bitter. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't even gonna try. <laughs> sorrel grass. It grows all over the mountains. Sheep sorrel. Sheep sorrel. You can look at it right down here. See that right there? Yeah. And your your little petals on it look like little arrows. See that little petal? Mm-hmm. But and so they they put that in cancer drugs. Mm -hmm. That was in a you know, that was in one of the famous cancer drugs that was created by a Canadian uh, nurse, really, yeah. not a doctor, a nurse called uh, Essex. Okay. And that's that was that was one of the main things she had in that cancer drug, and it actually worked too. By the way. Josh, I appreciate you Mike, going with I me, buddy. You, I, buddy. I learned a lot from you today. <laughs> I learned a lot from you, definitely. <laughs> Definitely. And there's a lot of it. I'm going to have to go back and watch the video just so I can retain some of it. But uh, Well, that's the only way to do it. And I, I greatly appreciate it. I'm, I'm interested, like, like we talked about, especially with the wild lettuce and stuff. Um, 
I hate to I hate to take pain medicine all the time or headache medicine or whatever, and I I, I want something natural. I think that's the way. That's the way to God go. designed it, and I think that's the best way to know. Well, that's just the way I do it, and and I've been doing it now for over forty years, and so, you know, to me it's it's just better better for your health to do it naturally yeah. if, you, if you possibly can. And like I said before, I'm not a doctor. I don't prescribe medicine, right, or anything for anybody. Just make up your own mind to go out, find your stuff, uh, make you some, uh, you know, cultures out of it, and see how it yeah. works for you. If it don't work, don't use it. Try it out. Sure. Yeah. So that's that's what I intend to do, and uh, gonna have some videos coming up, and uh, on some some lettuce and some mulling and um, lots of other different things. So I, I'm anxious to to get into it, but I appreciate you taking time to let me tag along. Hey, Josh, no problem, Josh.